Today we are going to go through cat command in Linux. Cat command is shortened for concatenate is one of the most widely used command line utility in Linux OS. It is a standard Linux utility that is used for viewing the contents of a file without the need of opening it in any text editor. Another major usage of cat command is concatenation of files that is compiling multiple files into a single file. There are other several uses of cat command in Linux about which we will talk in this video to give you an understanding of how it works in different scenarios. Following are some basic functions of cat command. Display content of a file, creating new file, compiling files, and copying file. To display the content of the file, what we have to do is we have to write cat and then the file name. Now what I want to do is I want to display the content of this hello.cpp. So I will do that. So what I will do is I will write cat and then the file name which is hello.cpp. As you can see the contents are displayed now. We can confirm it by opening the file hello.cpp. So this is the actual file and this is the file displayed through the cat command. So we just saw how to display the contents of one file. Now let us display contents of all the files. For that what we have to do is we have to write cat and then static. To display only the contents of one type of file in a directory into the following command. Right now on my desktop there are multiple cpp files that I want to display on my terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the following command. So I have to write cat and then static dot cpp type file. So as you can see it has displayed all the cpp files that are present in the current directory on my terminal. I can display multiple files at once as well. For that what I have to do is I have to write cat and then the file name. So I'm going to write hello dot cpp and hello world.cpp. So I want these two files to be displayed. I'm going to press enter and as you can see it has displayed the files on my terminal. Copy the output of one file to another. So what we have to do for that to copy the output of a source file to another file we have to use the following command. What we have to do is first we have to write cat then, then we have to write the closing angle bracket then we have to write the distillation file name. So what I'm going to do is as you can see I have file.txt. It has this text written. I want it to be copied into my file backup.txt which is completely empty. So in case this file backup.txt or any destination file doesn't exist, what cat would do it, it would first create that file and then copy it to it. So let me just show you. I have to write cat, then I have file.txt and I'm going to copy it with angle bracket closing. And then I have to write the destination file name which is file backup.txt. So it is done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open file backup.txt. So as you can see the text has been copied. So instead of overwriting the output file we can also append it. For that what we have to do is we have to write cat then the source file name which is file.txt and then double closing angle bracket and then file backup.txt which is the destination file name. So, so it is done. Now I am going to open file backup.txt. So as you can see, now it has not overwritten. Instead it has appended the text of the source file to the destination file. We can copy multiple files to another file as well. So for that what we have to do is we have to write cat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write cat file.txt 
file 2.txt and file 3.txt and I'm going to copy it into my file backup.txt. So it is done. Now I'm going to open file backup.txt. So as you can see, the context of file 2 and file 3 has been copied into the file backup.txt. We can also display line numbers in a file. What we have to do is we have to write cat dash n and then the file name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the lines in this file backup.txt. So I'm going to write cat then dash n and then the file name which is going to be file backup.txt. So as you can see, it has counted the number of lines in the file. If you do not want to number the empty lines, you can also write dash b. So I'm going to show you that as well. cat dash b file backup dot text. So now this empty line does not have any number to it. You can also create a file using the cat command. For that, what you have to do is you have to write cat then this angle closing bracket and then the file name which is going to be create file. After entering the above command, enter the text that you want to store in the file. So I'm going to write this is created by cat. So once done, what I have to do is I have to write control D to save and exit. So control D. So this is saved and I have exited. You can also combine the sort with the cat command to sort the output alphabetically. So I have a file, file3, that I'm going to show you, cat file3.txt. So it has a number of names written over here in separate lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it alphabetically. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write cat, then the file name, which is file3.txt. Then I'm going to write this vertical line and then I'm going to write sort. So as you can see, it is arranged in the alphabetical order now. Another popular use of a cat command is in the printing contents of a document. For instance, to print the output of a file to a printing device named slash dev slash lp, the following syntax will be used. So cat file3.txt and then this angle closing sign and then slash dev slash lp the name of the printing device. So this is how you can print the contents of file 3 to your printing device. So I hope this video proved helpful. For more videos keep visiting our website linuxhill.com.